Tokto will have a new local administrator next year. It's a position equivalent to a village chief. Only a few people live on the nation's easternmost islets all year round, but it's an important post because of how dear the territory is to the Korean people. With inquiries pouring in from those eager to take on the responsibility, the criteria for the job will be drawn up. Lee Min Sun has the full story. Less than a week ago, the local administrator of Dokdo died. The wife he left behind was the only resident not involved with the island's security or maintenance. Since then, the Dokdo management office has gotten a flood of inquiries expressing interest in becoming Dokdo's newest resident and the administrator's replacement. One of those interested is the late administrator's son-in-law. Ullungdo County, which has jurisdiction over Dokdo, said Friday that it will consult with related government entities to come up with new hiring criteria. But the only residential building on the island is being remodeled until next April, so the authorities are going to spend the intervening time working on the job description and qualifications. Previously, the criteria included how long the applicant had lived on nearby Ullungdo Island and whether they knew how to fish and collect seaweed. The late former administrator Kim Sung-do and his wife were the first Koreans to officially register as residents of Dokdo in 1991. In 2007, Kim was appointed as the island's first administrator. He was also the first person to run a business on the island and pay taxes. Kim and his wife had received a subsidy worth about 1,200 U.S. dollars from the government per month. Currently living on the islet are 39 Tokdo security police officers, two management officers, and three lighthouse keepers. About 20 of them have addresses there. Imin Sun, Arirang News.